Charles when he was 15 years old. Meanwhile, the defense called two witnesses to the disgraced reality TV star Josh Duggar was found guilty Thursday of receiving and possessing child pornography after he downloaded images that depicted the sexual abuse of kids to a work computer in 2019. Duggar, 33, who rose to fame in the early 2000s on his family's reality show 19 Kids and Counting, and who had established a profile as a conservative activist, was arrested in April on allegations he had downloaded the images featuring kids, some of whom were younger than 12, to a computer at his car lot in May 2019. Duggar had pleaded not guilty to one count of receiving child pornography and one count of possessing child pornography, which each carry a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison and $250,000 in fines if convicted, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of Arkansas said at the time. The trial kicked off in district court in Fayetteville, Arkansas on November 30 after it was delayed from an original trial date in July. The 12-person jury heard from computer experts brought to the witness stand by both the prosecution and defense, who offered testimony about what degree of certainty they could attest to Duggar's role in downloading the pornographic images to the device, according to KHBS. That testimony included a tedious look at geolocation data and timestamps, in addition to text messages that the prosecution's witnesses said linked Duggar to the car lot at roughly the same time the images were downloaded, the outlet said. On Friday, federal prosecutor William Clayman had questioned expert witness James Fottrell, who serves as one of the Justice Department's top forensics investigators, about his findings upon examining Duggar's work computer. Who was present at the car lot every time child pornography was downloaded? Clayman asked, according to KNWA. Josh Duggar, Fottrell said. Prosecutors alleged that Duggar installed a Linux partition on a computer at the car lot so that he could circumvent an application tasked with notifying his wife. If he tried to access inappropriate content, the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette reported. The defense, meanwhile, sought to cast doubt over whether Duggar was responsible for downloading the images, emphasizing that the images had not been found on Duggar's personal phone or laptop. Duggar's lawyers suggested that the images could have been downloaded by another person or placed on his work computer remotely, an assertion that was dismissed by Fottrell who said the evidence he analyzed was not fitting the pattern of someone connecting remotely, according to KNWA. Duggar's lawyers, Justin Gelfand, Travis Story and Greg Payne, had vowed in April to fight against the charges. In this country, no one can stop prosecutors from charging a crime, they said in a statement. But when you're accused, you can fight back in the courtroom, and that is exactly what Josh intends to do. The charges were not the first time Duggar had been accused of inappropriate conduct linked to children. In 2015, In Touch magazine reported that the reality star had been investigated in 2006 for allegedly molesting several girls when he was a teenager. His parents, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, later told Fox News that the allegations were true and that four of his sisters were among the five victims. He was still a kid. He was still a juvenile. He wasn't an adult, Jim Bob Duggar said at the time. This was not rape or anything like that. This was touching someone over their clothes. Duggar's dad is now running in a special Republican primary election for an open seat on the state Senate. After the bombshell report in 2015, Josh Duggar resigned from his role as director of the Family Research Council's lobbying group, which had been the battleground for much of his activism opposing gay marriage and abortion. The family's TLC show was also cancelled that year after running for roughly seven years. In a statement to People magazine addressing the molestation allegations, Duggar said that as a young teen he had acted inexcusably for which I am extremely sorry and deeply regret. I confess this to my parents who took several steps to help me address the situation. We spoke with the authorities where I confessed my wrongdoing, and my parents arranged for me and those affected by my actions to receive counseling. I understood that if I continued down this wrong road that I would end up ruining my life," he wrote. Soon after, he checked himself into rehab after admitting to cheating on his wife and having an addiction to pornography. A family friend of the Duggars, Bobby Holt, was called to the stand on Monday by the prosecution and testified that, 
In March 2003, Duggar touched the private parts of four kids, who were no older than 12. Judge Timothy L. Brooks said that while Duggar was not on trial for child molestation, Holt's testimony could shed light on motive for the child pornography charges.